morning. Here on a Monday, we're up here by the Grand Canyon National Monument. And of course, we're out here at the helicopter pad here this morning. We're going to be uh, taking a ride here in about an hour or so, checking out the Grand Canyon. It's a little noisy here. There's uh, Chopper taking off. folks have never done a tour like this, I would highly recommend it. Anyways, I'll take you guys along with me. I have a GoPro uh, video with me, and I'll show you some shots. Right now, we're just getting uh, taken off from the airport here, and we're going to go ahead and head north, going across the Grand Canyon, toward the North Rim. like this, I mean, it's just one of those bucket list deals that you can't miss. I mean, with all the national park trips that we do, we always include, try to include some aviation if at all possible. And if a helicopter is not possible, then a motorcycle is nearby as far as taking these trips. Fantastic, a lot of fun with the video, and if you do happen to come up here, be sure to bring your GoPro and your other cameras to photograph all this. coming up on the north rim of the Grand Canyon and we're going to fly over that.
thing about the chopper ride is you can experience the north end of the Grand Canyon pretty quick, where you're driving by car from the south end to the north end is hours away. south back toward the south rim from the north. on over to the south end now and we're heading back to the Grand King City or the airport and then the chopper for just a bit. The chopper itself flying along here is going about 145 miles per hour. It's about 5 o'clock here in the afternoon on a Monday, and I'm just here at the Hermes Rest of the Grand Canyon. 
I've shot a lot of shots down in the Grand Canyon today, as well as do, we did our helicopter ride here this morning, which is very well worth it. If you come up here to the Grand Canyon, be sure to book the longest helicopter ride possible because you'll need it, you know, just to see the whole canyon. And we did see just about everything within, I think we had a 45 minute ride, but uh, yeah, it's been a gorgeous day. We've been up and down the canyon just shooting shots. And this is gorgeous. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better day, you know, just coming out, making the drive from Colorado to come out to the canyon. And it's early June. It's not really all that packed like people say. I mean, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that says stay away during the summer. But here, no, I wouldn't say that at all. I mean, we haven't had anything with a lot of people today. But anyways, I truly enjoyed it. I think it was a great destination to come out here. This is the main uh, time that we want. This is the main spot that we wanted to do on our vacation was the Grand Canyon of the South Rim. So hey, it's been a perfect day, and I don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow. We'll probably be heading on down toward Boulder City, Nevada, out that way. But I think I've got enough of the canyon shot today with the camera. I mostly just did photography and. Not much to do on a GoPro. Everything's kind of too far away for the GoPro to really do any decent video, but uh, a lot of photos to shoot and show you, you know, when we get things developed and produced for YouTube or Facebook or whatever it might be. So, anyways, there she be. A Thermos Rest area. I guess there's a trail that goes down there. Colorado River's at the bottom, and it's just been a spectacular day. So, we'll catch up with you guys a little later. Looking down at the Colorado River from Pima, this Pima Point, or what's this one called? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not on the helicopter with this video, like we were this morning. Here's part two of our Grand Canyon adventure, and here are some photos I shot with the Canon SLR camera. Coming to the Grand Canyon has become an absolute enjoyment of my life. This place can accommodate lots of people, and at the same time there is plenty of space to roam around and enjoy the great scenes that this place has to offer. We stayed in Flagstaff and came out to the canyon the very next morning. This year, 2022, has come along to be one of the best years of my life. Life is good, so I say, it really is. Adding lots of travel to my life is getting me away from the TV, people divided by politics, and so on. My television time with watching regular programming has dwindled down to just about nothing. And my media entertainment these days consists of YouTube adventure and playing music. Facebook, at the same time, consists of travel and motorcycle user groups. What I have discovered with living a good life and having a good attitude with getting to travel and cleanse the soul consists of three things. Number one, don't hate. This can eat up a chunk of your mind that leads to no good and takes away happy thoughts. And number two, I say, don't hold grudges. This too, along with hate, takes a portion of your mind which brings no happy endings quite so ever. Number three, and of course my favorite, is never grow up. Stay active and play with your toys. I have more time to enjoy life than worrying about hate and grudges.
So I guess I can say with the three things I just mentioned, it's really paid off for me. Life just keeps getting better and better. It is fun. And just a real pleasure to adventure around and see what other people are doing around the Grand Canyon. My wife and I have really enjoyed riding the shuttle buses and chatting with other folks. Seems like everyone is happy up here. Well, I hope you are all enjoying the scenic views of the Grand Canyon. I need to get off the computer and go work on getting my motorcycle ready for the next adventure. If you ever plan on shooting videos and presenting them, be prepared for lots of chair time and screen work. I've been in here most of the day today. So other than that, there's a lot more to come from me with this trip and others. Take care and have a good one. See ya.